You guys, I gotta give props to my man out there. Or still in uh, Hurricane Harvey, which I guess now he's just a tropical storm, but it's absolutely miserable out there. Every inch is just muddy. I don't know if you'll be able to see him. He's dumping, he's actually opening the gate right there. It's like that little gray bit is our poop trolley. So we needed to dump our gray, which I think we were gonna try and put that off a little bit and just use our biodegradable soap and the kitchen tote. So Matt was like, you know, I'm gonna take care of that. And he's dumping the gray in the black. Didn't ask for help. He's just out there doing it. And I had mentioned to him that, you know, we could put the put everything into the poop trolley and then leave the poop trolley until it clears and then we can take care of it later. But no, he's doing all of it, which it's pretty amazing. He's awesome. I just had to give him props for that. That's, that's a gentleman. He takes up the poop. <laughs> uh, he's flattening out those divots. The truck, obviously. We had it parked here during the storm, as you guys saw. And um, you were able to move it, but he had to back up and it yeah, got stuck in two spots. Created some tracks. Oh, see the path. <laughs> I was gonna ask which way you went, but I see it. <laughs> so he's gonna try and flatten it out just a bit, even though it's just gonna be mud and dirt now. What what should we do with this area now? It's all mud. Can uh, we it, it'll grow grass. Make again. our own little pavement or something? Well, I mean we can if you want to. But do you like a little road? Do you have fun in the storm? Because you didn't want to stay inside with us? <laughs> Ooh. She's good. There's a, oh, where'd he go? There's a grasshopper over here. Welcome to this video. So I guess this is an update for y'all regarding the hurricane. We kind of left it off without telling y'all what was going on and that's because we honestly just didn't know. There were so many things about the weekend and the storm that were unknown to not only us but the people that were relaying information, the people on the news, the meteorologists, because the storm itself was so unpre unpredictable. It started out as a tropical, tropical storm. storm as of, I mean, all week they'd been telling us about Tropical Storm Harvey that was going to be coming to Texas. And we're like, cool, we're going to get some rain. Yeah, it's probably going to rain for a while, but that's fine. Thursday, Tropical Storm. Even Friday, Tropical Storm. Friday afternoon, they finally said, okay, this thing is gaining some traction. It's now a hurricane. And as soon as that happened, it seemed like within a matter of hours, it gained so much strength. And then that night, it upgraded to a category four. Yeah, so it actually jumped up from two to three within just an hour or two, and then where they expected it to be a three within the next hour or two. And then, uh, yeah, a couple hours later, it was already a four right before it hit landfall. We didn't know where it was gonna go. Uh, it looked like it was coming straight for us, but they basically assumed this, the path of this thing was gonna go up and then back they can't down. See your hands. Yeah, well, they can assume where it's going. So <laughs> it's gonna go, here you go, up, back down. We were safe, basically. We were just going to get hit by the outer ring, uh, but it's going to be a constant outer ring, mm -hmm. um, which that's what basically destroyed Houston. Another thing that they predicted was that it was going to move really slow once it was on land. Normally, hurricanes just kind of barrel through and dissipate as they go, but this one, for 
whatever reason, was going to hit Texas, slow down, and it was so much so that whenever it did hit, it was going at what? It was moving at one or two miles per hour. Like it was moving yeah. northwest at one to two miles per hour. That is so slow. So it's sitting on cities for hours and hours and hours. But at the same time, while it's doing that, it was weakening as it was coming closer to us. I get terrible anxiety when it comes to storms. You keep scooting out well, of the frame. Yes, because they're bucket seats. I'm gonna go this way. I'm, I'm okay. I'm staying in fine. Yeah, because you're sitting on the bucket part of the then seat. sit on the bucket. No, because I don't have enough cushion because of my leg deterioration. Where was I? I don't oh, know. I have terrible storm anxiety because every time that we get a storm in Texas, it's not just a normal storm. Like the saying goes, everything's bigger in Texas. And that's true because every time we get a storm, it's like, hold on to your seats. <laughs> Something reflecting on your face. Yeah, I do. Every time we do get a storm, it's just, it's like not a nice little rainstorm. It's thunder and lightning and tornado warnings and then it's over. Every time I hear that there's going to be a storm, I assume that it's going to be very intense, which it always is. Anyway, so I had <laughs> You're talking so fast. Terrible anxiety about it. I want to talk to Okay, go ahead. So yeah, horrible anxiety. Uh, every time a storm comes through, it rains a little bit, she freaks out and she stays awake, and so she loses a lot of sleep. And I enjoy this thing. Sleep through the whole thing. I just think it's great. Put on maybe a little bit of music or no music. The rain hitting the RV, it's very peaceful. I do like that. But she freaks out. Like every single time this and they even said there's gonna be no lightning so I was like okay we're gonna be good but then the high winds concerned her and so I was googling how much wind does it take to knock an RV over <laughs> like several times but one thing that we helped have commenters was that say it's right fine. a video several months back whenever we first got into the RV one of the first bigger storms and a lot of you guys had said we've been you know we've driven through this type of wind and like so and so miles per hour and yeah you kind of move around but for the most part we're okay and so we just kind of kept a close eye on things there was never any point to where we felt like we were going to tip over that we have never we were never in any danger no danger at all the worst thing would have been at what point name one specific point you can point out any of the videos we were perfectly fine this whole time in fact all we had to do and if we did feel like we were in danger we would just walk outside the door walk 20 30 feet over to a nice brick house and be yes, safe. Yes, that was another thing is we had yeah, a We were completely plan. fine. Yeah. If, if I felt too uncomfortable, um I would have we could have just taken the dogs out 20 feet next door and gone into the house. Their land has never flooded. Like, yeah, we get pooling and we get trickles and stuff because they have what, 7 acres? Mm -hmm. 7 acres. Um running through the front like around the side of the house so the drainage is seems like it's pretty good um i'm fine i have to keep telling myself that we got hit and, by two sticks and we heard, we heard that we both perked up what also happened is they had told us because you guys can obviously see we're not in the rv we are out and it is sunny outside it's beautiful actually and it's still supposed to be raining right now like that's how unpredictable this yes. whole thing was they had told us that it was going to sit we're still in our under area. flash flood warning and then it was gonna move back down to the coast right by Rockport to where it originally came from. And then it was gonna move back up towards Houston and off towards Louisiana, and or even back to us. But what happened, and this was as of this morning, um, and this was a nice relief because we got a break in the rain, so I looked, and it kind of started to dissipate. So we're like right here, and we were on the outer edge of it, but it slowly dissipated to where it started moving east. Now, Houston, is still getting hit which is just devastating they're, they're still getting hit but it moved out of our area so we're no longer getting rain and what they're thinking it's going to do from here is move back down to the coast and then move even further east which just it's crazy how quickly it changed you know we had assumed that we were going to be flooded in and we weren't our, our road leading out didn't even flood, and I don't know how that happened. And nothing always floods. Yeah. It, it only stays flooded for an hour or two, but still, that thing always floods. And it's didn't so crazy. That. It didn't flood, but we had constant rain from Friday to last night. But anyway, it's it's been an interesting weekend. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Monday's vlog. I think it was a, a pretty good representation of our weekend because it was raining. I worried. I watched the radar late at night, and we took the dogs out because that's and we ate, and that's probably everything we did. I was on Facebook a lot. 
like a lot. I don't know if I have data. Had a lot of downtime. And I have unlimited data. We did watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's kind of the update for now. Um, I don't know what else we want to do with this vlog. I guess we will find out. It's my yeah. dad's birthday tomorrow. Woohoo! Happy birthday, Larry! Happy birthday, Larry! Happy birthday, happy birthday, Larry! He will never watch this video. He doesn't does he even know what YouTube is? No, he doesn't even know what his phone is. <laughs> yes, very tech savvy. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna Super go get him a savvy. present and go yeah. home and eat dinner. And I'm also filming on my iPhone because we still don't have a vlogging camera. Um, the waterproof camera did come in handy with the hurricane because I could take it outside. But yeah, still don't have camera. Probably won't be getting one for a while, so hopefully that this this type of footage is okay for you guys. Let us know if you hate it, then I'll, uh, I'll go and buy her a camera or something. I hate it. Oh, <laughs> now we got a beautiful blue sky. Right now, we're heading to a church that's just a few miles down the road from us. They're gathering donations to take out to flood victims in Houston. And basically, they posted a, a little graphic of the things that they need. And so many of the things on the list were exactly what we put in those care packages. Now we have um, two backpacks that I had put together um, and we have in the car. Toiletry items, snacks, we have waters, we have poncho, like first aid stuff, tons and tons of things. So we're going to take those two backpacks by because I figured that the backpacks, they also ask for school supplies so the backpacks might be good for, you know, a kid to get. I just thought it's like a little way to help um, and we put these care packages together for the homeless because we never know what their situation is, and this is the exact type of situation that somebody could go through that could put them out on the street for a while, so any little bit helps. So we're going to go drop those off real quick. Is that okay? until Thursday. They also have another truck coming to their other locations. Uh, two locations, one in Lockhart, so they're also collecting there. Oh. And so we'll have uh, chances until Thursday. And so I think they're just taking everything. Cool. And so I'm going to tell my parents also. So hopefully we'll have more stuff to give them even before then. Yeah, nice.